Hey everyone, welcome back to new series of Python. In today's video, we will be discussing about the slicing of a list. So slicing is basically the extraction of a part of list. And to print a specific range of the elements from this list, we can just use the slicing. So here you can find the syntax that is used uh, for slicing that we have to provide the object name over here. That is the object. And afterwards, we have to give the start uh, indexing number and uh, we can also provide the stop indexing number over here. And afterwards, you can also set this step. Okay. Now, uh, here you can see there are different ways in which we can just slice the elements. We can just uh, print the elements from the beginning uh, to arrange using the column, then provide the index number. That is the format and uh, or the syntax. And you can also print the elements from a specific range till the end. Um, and you can also print the elements from beginning to negative range and uh, you can also print the elements from a specific uh, negative index till the end. Uh, for that we will be using this format and uh, you can also print the whole list in reverse order so that we will be using this format that is using of the uh, colons and uh, afterwards um, we will be providing minus one as the index so we know in order to reverse a list, we always use uh, the minus one. And uh, we know that we, if we want to just uh, get the list in a reverse order, we always use the negative indexing and that starts from minus one. And now let's see how can we just manage with the positive uh, index slicing and negative index slicing. So in this case, we will be considering an example and the list name is company and it has got the values uh, C Y B R uh, O S Y yes so um, let's consider the list and it has got positive indexing uh, so the positive indexing always starts from the value zero and uh, we know the end value will be resulting in in n minus one format and in case of the negative indexing we know it starts from minus one okay so here uh, let me um, create a list so for that here you can see we have already created list now we just need to check the length of this list so uh, let me print the length of this list so we have already learned how to check the length of a list and all so afterwards you can read this and here you can see that the length of the list is 8 so when you just go with the positive indexing we know it starts from 0 and uh, we will have uh, 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And uh, when you just go with uh, the negative indexing, then it will start from counting minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. Okay. So like uh, will be the indexing will be considered. Now let's see how to print the elements from the beginning till end. So in order to print that, uh, we have already um, know there are different ways um, to manage with the slicing. So currently I just need to get every elements in this list. So I'll be using the print function because we just need to print the item in the log or in the terminal. And uh, later on, um, uh, let's provide the object name. So the object name is uh, company and we have to put the bracket and uh, Afterwards, you can just provide simply call it. So this would uh, print every elements in this list. So let's rent this. And here you can see currently we have printed every elements that in the list. Now you can also go with the other uh, way to uh, get the result. So let me copy this and you can also provide just two columns inside this. And this would give a result of uh, um, printing every elements from the list. So this is one of the way of doing the slicing. So if we want to uh, print everything through slicing, you can see uh, simply using the colon, you can just get every elements from this list. Now let's print the elements of a range using the slice operation. So let me say that uh, I just want to print from uh, uh, the elements 3 uh, to 7. So we will be using the print function afterwards, provide the object, use the brackets over here. And I just need to start a printing from three and till seven, I'll be providing that. So let's uh, rent this file. 
So as I just rent this file here, you can see that currently we have uh, printed the elements from 3 to 7. So consider the list side browsers. Uh, I mean, it has got the values of C, Y, B, R, um, O, S, Y, S. So here, let's consider the indexing 0, uh, 1, 2, 3. So from R, uh, the values will be starting to print. So here you can see R, O, S, Y is printed. So as we just set uh, 3, colon 7, then this last value will not be considered. And till Y, it will be printed. Now, if you just want to include um, the 7 or the last value of here, then you have to just increment uh, the next value and have to uh, give over here. So, I mean, uh, I'll be going with the print function and I just need to print uh, the uh, end element also. So, if I want to get the end element, I have to give likewise, which means we have to just consider... Uh, an increment of the end value, I mean end index of the list. So uh, here you can see currently we have printed the end value also. Now let's see how can we print the elements from predefined point to the end. So in order to do that, uh, we will be using uh, the print function, provide the company um, name that is the list name. And here you can see um, I just need to get the values from 5 till end. Okay. So, uh, yeah, here you can print the file and here you can see the value will be taken from uh, 5, which means uh, currently the element in the position 5 is yes. And afterwards, uh, we haven't provided any specific range uh, to end uh, the elements. So that will consider the um, the other elements, I mean the exact, the elements at the end of the list and that will be printed over here. Okay, now let's find the other way of uh, list slicing operation. So here we can just provide the object and put a bracket and you can set the start index, uh, then put a colon, stop index, put a colon and next step. So the start index is the starting index which is a zero based indexing and it specifies that the extraction should begin at what character of list. And uh, the stop index is the ending index and that will be exclusive or excluded and it specifies the extraction should stop before what character. Now you can find the next step and this is the step size and this specifies how many characters should skip between each extracted character. Now let's go with an example. Let's say we just need to get uh, the slicing um, from the list company and I want to just start or extract the elements from the position uh, 3 and I just want to exclude the elements in the position uh, 7 and uh, as I want to extract all the elements in between uh, 3 uh, to 7 I can just provide a step size of uh, uh, our next uh, step as 1. So as I just print this here you can see the result over here as we have got the result as R uh, um, O S uh, Y. So here let's consider the list with the indexing. So in the position of R, I mean in the position of 3, we have got the value or the element as R. And we just need to do our next step uh, of 1, which means we just need to include every element in between this. So here you can see the, uh, the elements next to R is O and the element next to O is uh, uh, S and till um, 7 we just need to include okay not till uh, 7 the value uh, in the position 7 will be excluded and uh, till uh, the index 0 we will consider the values so here you can see the final value will be y now let's consider the other example uh, so we just need to set the next step as 2 so for that uh, you can change the next step over here and as you just rent the file here, you can see the value that we have got or the slicing is 10 uh, as R and S. This is because in the position of 3, we know the value will be uh, R. And uh, till the value, I mean, uh, till the position of 6, only we will consider the value. So the ending value will be Y. Okay. But here we have to do a next step as 2. So uh, when we just consider the values that to be taken, by next uh, steps, 
the value in the position of phi will be extracted and that is yes which is shown over here now let's see how can we manage the negative index slicing so let's see how can we print the elements from the beginning to a predefined point using the slicing in order to do that let's uh, go with an example print company and uh, you can just provide the negative indexing over here for that put the colon over there and uh, um, let me go like minus uh, 6 so in this case um, the value in the position of minus 6 will be excluded and the value in the position of minus 7 and minus 8 will be considered and you can print this and here you can find uh, the values is taken which means in the uh, position of minus 7 it is y and in the position of minus 8 it is uh, uh, c now let's see how can we print the elements of a range using the negative index slicing so let's consider an example over here which means uh, we can just go with the uh, list company itself so company and uh, here you can uh, provide the range which means minus uh, 6 colon minus 1 so uh, as we rent this here you can see the extracted elements over here so in this case the extraction starts from minus 6 so the value uh, or the element in the uh, position of minus 6 is b and uh, the value in uh, minus 1 will be excluded so here you can see the rest of the values are uh, considered c r o s y are the rest of the values uh, now the last thing that we could just gonna discuss in this session is the printing elements in reverse using the slicing operation so to do so let's consider an example over here let's consider the list uh, company and you can just um, put uh, double columns in the bracket and set minus one over here so this reverse the elements of the list from uh, uh, right to uh, left so as we just rent this here you can see currently we have reversed the list successfully and the reversing is done from right to left so that's all for today thank you for watching the video